Hi guys, welcome to the iOSPON YouTube channel. Today I'm going to walk you through a few steps which will help you improve the performance of your older iPads or iPhones. So as you guys are aware that Apple keeps on releasing new versions of the iOS, which often due to compatibility issues do not support older devices. And this can always, you know, degrade your performance and you know, often have delays in opening and running uh, basic functions. So what you see in front of you is an iPad mini and it's an older gen model. So the OS which is running on it is version 9 and is, you know, as per current date, as you know, uh, we got iOS 11 point something which has actually been running. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to go through a few steps, three, of, you know, three or four basic steps and you know, that will help you increase the performance of your iPad or iPhones at least a little bit, you know, so that you won't really get tired using it. So here you go. The first thing what we do is we go to settings, okay, and under that you go to general, right? So if you, if you scroll down uh, to the options, uh, you've got accessibility, all right? So in there you have an option called as reduce motion. That's the one. So you just enable this one. So there'll be like, you know, the reduction in the whole motion of like, uh, you know, the icons and, you know, how the apps open and close. So that being done, the second thing what you're going to do is go under increase contrast option. Okay. And you can enable the first and the last one, which is reduce transparency and the last one, which is reduce white point. So be done with that. Okay. So go back to the general uh, settings. So in there, you should have another option. Uh, where is it? As a background app refresh, right? So as you can see, I've already switched it off because I don't really need to depend on my iPad as my, you know, for, for doing my basic functions, right? Like to operate emails and, you know, calls and WhatsApp and use all the other applications. So which is why I turned this off. So if you if you want to enable uh, this option for specific applications, then you have the option as well. So if you want to enable it, say, for example, just for YouTube, then, you know, you can play around with it. You can you can just select individual apps, you know, for this function to work. But if you don't want, you can just switch it off. And, you know, this should this should free up a lot of uh, your memory and, you know, your iPad or your iPhone should perform a lot of better. As soon as you're done with the settings, all uh, you've got to do is you've got to restart your iPad and you know once once you start it back again it should be uh, performing a lot better uh, trust me guys a couple uh, days ago my ipad would never be able to perform this well but right now i mean you know as you can see it's uh, it's quite quick i can close open applications and you know, i don't really have any problems thank you for watching guys i hope this video helps you guys in um, speeding up your older uh, devices cheers